Hello everybody, this is Red Gamer 75. Welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. Yes, I know, it's been a while since we did an episode of this Let's Play. And I've got there's a couple reasons why it's been a few months. You see, I was really busy with other games as well. And the last time I've actually completed this game, The Legend of Zelda's Golden Sword, was all the way back in 2012. It was one of my favourite games on the way back in the day. There goes my shield. My wooden shield's been destroyed. I'm going to need a new shield when I beat this dungeon. Um, no, use that. And um, it's just like I just want to get into the mood to play Zelda, okay? This back in 2012, I'm not the same person I was back then as I am now. You see, I've changed a lot. You see, back in 2012, I was still at school then. But now, I'm not even at school anymore. Um, you see, I'm really busy these days. But now I'm back and we should be able to finish this soon. Go get that enemy off. Let's walk back. Shoot him. Shoot the fall off. Nope. Second try. Yep. Let's see if we can get across. Oh. Nearly there. Anyway, you know, I remember I posted a video saying my hard drive was broken and it only showed half the files. I still have that problem. So in, I can still access the files actually, but I just can't see them. I actually have to type in the folder to access it. So that's how I was able to get this video up. The Zelda one. I actually have to type in the full name of the video file and then I can get it. Even though I have increased my YouTube's time limit, this series is still going to be under 50 minutes long because it's going to stay that way and there's still going to be no intro for the series. Yeah, this is still going to be a pretty long game. You ain't gotta talk some other stuff. Two months ago, Nintendo has unrevealed the Nintendo NX. And it's known as the Switch. Which is both a home and handheld console. Yeah, because of, you know, apparently the Wii U. Apparently. Not many people brought that console. No, I like the Wii U, however. I do think it's an, an improvement over the Wii, but... Yeah, the PS4 and the Xbox One are more powerful than the Wii U. The Wii U is just as bad as strong as the Xbox 360 and the PS3. The Nintendo Switch is supposed to be more powerful than the Xbox One. Hopefully, Nintendo Switch will succeed. Because if they fail, they're going to have to pull a Sega. In other words, become a third party. And then, we'll start seeing games such as Mario, Zelda, Metroid, over on the Xbox and the PlayStation then. Keep swinging across. 
And apart from the Switch being announced, I also saw some more st stuff on Breath of the Wild. Okay. Breath of the Wild looks like a pretty awesome game. It's supposed to have a real, a really big world, you know, bigger than you know, Ocarina of Time and Twilight Princess and that. But I notice in the gameplay that Link does not have his green tunic in it. Instead, he has a blue one. Now about the Nintendo Switch, I've heard that. Unlike the GameCube, the Wii, and the Wii U, the Switch does not come on CDs. It will be going back to cartridges. Like, you know, SD cards and that, but I've heard they're supposed to hold more space. And back on the olden days with the Nintendo 64 and that, there used to be hardly any loading times. Should be going back to this on the Switch. Anyway, I'm ending the episode here. Red Gamer 75 sign off. Thanks for watching. See you all again next time. Goodbye, everybody.